Welcome, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your alteration skill to 100 super fast. I'm going to show you two methods in this, but you are going to need the telekinesis spell, which I'm going to show you where to get on the map here. Once you've arrived here, I've got Serena with me as usual. Make sure you read this book because it will give you one point in your block skill. It's going to be this lady mm -hmm. just sat outside and we're going to head into the uh, Redwater Den, it's called. I've already cleared out all the enemies for the purposes of this video, so we can just run through nice and quick. I'll show you exactly where you've got to go to get the telekinesis spell. It's a big cave, I recommend that you do check that the whole thing out in this cave because it's massive and there's lots of little secrets and good stuff in it. So it's definitely definitely one of the better caves that I've been in. So we're gonna come through here, there's gonna be some vampires in here. There's quite a few in here. Then we're gonna come around to the left and you're gonna to come to this gate. It will be locked, it's an adept lock, so you'll have to one uh, lock pick that. And then the telekinesis spell time is gonna be here, so pick that up. Search the conjurer if you want to, not much, just a bit of gold and a staff of frostbite for me. And then what you want to do is you want to get an inanimate object, so I'm just using a goblet for this. Quickly uh, learn the spell time, telekinesis. Just quickly equipped it in both hands now, or you could do it in one hand, it doesn't really matter. And then basically you just want to cast a spell over the goblet. And you can see that raises your alteration skill. It does, your magic can just run out really, really fast, so you have to keep waiting in between. But in this second method, well, it's going to take about five seconds to get from one to a hundred or whatever level you're on. You are going to need a few items to do this. I'm going to show you exactly where to get them. You see, it takes it's, it's quick, but it takes it takes a bit long. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start a quest called Unearthed, and that's going to give you. This mission here, which is filament and filigree, or whatever that's called. So you're going to need to come through, go through the unearthed quest line where you have to pay gold for them to uh, dig out a mine. And then you're going to come to where this black blue book is located. Once you open it, it's going to give you a choice of three things that you might want to learn. But for this, for the purposes of this technique, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to learn this middle one, which is a secret of Arcania. I've got one for strength and there's one on the other side as well. For some reason I just run back down for no reason whatsoever. So now I'm going to learn this. And what this does is it allows you to cast your spells for 30 seconds without using any uh, magicka. Which is really, really handy. So once you've learned that, make sure you check out the other stuff that's in this room as well. Because there's a couple of uh, spells over here. Healing Hands and uh, Conjurer Seeker, which is quite good. There's also a soul, couple of soul gems that you might want to pick up. Once you have this and got all these items, you're going to want to travel somewhere else. I'm going to go back to White Run for the purpose of this. And then what you want to do is you want to activate the uh, Secret of Arcania. Use your Tenekalesis spell, and you can see it's not using any magicka. And then simply want to bring up your map, and then you want to travel somewhere that's really, really far away. I'm just going to do that in a moment. Make sure you hold the buttons down as well when you're doing this. So I think I'm just going to travel out to F Folk Reef for this. And as you can see, I'm level 50 now. But the bar's all filled up. Just filled up. And when we get there, I'm going to show you exactly where well, you'll see my uh, alteration skill is going to be at 100. This, I only had to do this one time, so it's not like a multiple thing that you have to keep doing. And here we are, we're going to arrive in Falkreath. Then we're going to go to level up. As you can see, I leveled up four times in this. Because obviously my alteration skill went through 100. I'm just going to put all the points in. I'm going to go across to alteration. I'm going to show you that it's level 100. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, smash that like button for me. And subscribe for more Skyro 2 tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out.